So in this case, we are going to consider the presentation of our grouped data. Uh, remember, we can uh, represent information just like what we had previously. When we were dealing with uh, ungrouped data, we talked of the box and whisker plot. If you still remember uh, that part. It is a presentation that can be done after you have given someone the information. The person can give back the information represented on a box and whisker plot, which was for the ungrouped data. But in this case, we are referring to the grouped data where we are given class intervals as we referred before. For those typical, information can be represented on a histogram. So a histogram is used or to represent grouped data. So there are so many graphical presentations for the grouped data, uh, which we are going to advance later on with in our grade 11 and uh, grade 12 mathematics. So as for now, the histogram, uh, the basic part that should be given makes our histogram to be of the same width, the same width, the class width from one class interval to another. It will be the same, like in terms of the difference from 22 to 30, a difference of 10, as we can see. So if we add 10 here, that's 40. So from 30 to 40, you'll be given information like this. So on that type of information, do not worry about so many things, guys. The histogram is going to be represented from those class intervals that you are given. So you're going to use the class intervals as they are versus the frequencies. That's it. Versus the frequency. Remember, each will be having the corresponding frequency. Each class. So it is given in terms of a bar. It is going to be in form of a bar. From a certain value, let's say this is 10 to 20, to a certain frequency, that's a bar that you're going to have at the end. From 10 to 20, corresponding to a certain frequency. Meaning to say from 20 to 40, 20 to 30, I mean, corresponding to a certain frequency. Like that. Depending with the frequency that you're given, uh, it is going to be in form of bars. And these bars will be of the same width. The difference between these bars is going to be the same, same width. Because of what? Here. So to draw a histogram, you simply need class intervals and the frequencies. You're done. Meaning to say the height of the bar, this one going up, this height is equivalent straight to the frequency for this type of a histogram. The height will be equal to the frequency for that class. For the given class, if it is 20 to this, and there are no gaps as we are to draw this graph, a histogram, no gaps. There are no gaps. So that is the major part uh, that we are going to be working with. So without wasting our time, we are given a question. The table contains the meds results for class A. Exam percentage from 0 to 20, from 20 to 40, 50, 40 to 60. Same difference throughout of 20. 20 minus that's a 20. 40 minus 20, that's a 26. You can see that it is the same throughout. Of this type of information, go straight forward, represent 
the class intervals as they are, which are your exam percentage. These are our class intervals versus what? The frequency. All right. So anyways, before we represent the histogram, there are questions before that was to write down the model class. Remember, we talked about these guys uh, from the previous uh, questions that we had when we dealt with the measures of central tendency of the grouped data. And we say the model class is the one that has got the highest frequency according to the presentation of our data. Uh, the highest frequency is 15. So the class that has that frequency is what? That is the class now, the model class. So that's X is greater than or equal to six as it is written there, less than 80. All right. Then the second part of the question, write down the interval containing the median for the dead. We need the interval containing the median. Remember, we talked about this, guys. First, we must determine the position of that median. First, the median uh, position has to be determined, which is half of n plus one. For the grouped data, the n is the total frequency. You add these frequencies that we are given. Uh, that is uh, simply, we can add, all right, let me just try and have it this way. All right, so these are the frequencies. The first one is five. Uh, to 9, 12, uh, 15, and 8. You add these, that's uh, 49. Okay, so meaning to say we are going to have half of what? 49 plus 1, which is uh, 50 in this case. So half of 50, that's the 25th uh, value. The position where it is to be found 25th position. So we have to count up to 25. Okay, so let's see. From the frequencies, we add uh, this one going down, or you can, is the middle one, it's any direction. All right, so moving on from this, going down, that's five plus nine, which is what, 14. We are not yet at 25. Then we add 14 to 12, as we can see, that is going to give us 26. We have exceeded the 25th value. We are now at 26. If we add, we are now at 26. So the 25th value is there. It's in within that 26 is there from that side. So which class is that value? The 25th. It is from 42. From uh, 40 to 60, we just have to write the way that it is given there from 40 to 60. So that's X is greater than or equal to 40, uh, less than 60 is given. Okay, so those are the basics uh, that you need. And the other part of the question uh, was to construct a histogram. All right. Construct a histogram to represent the information. So this is where we go back to the presentation of the histogram. Class intervals versus what? Frequencies as they are. So our class intervals are given. All right? Class intervals are already given. We have them. The frequencies are already there. From 0 to 20 versus the frequency. So you'll be given on the horizontal axis your class intervals, which are the exam percentage, the frequency on the vertical. So as you can see from zero to 20, this will be uh, five, meaning to say it's just like one, two, three, four, five. You just have to measure according to the way that you'll be given um, graphical. But what is important is where it is situated, all right? So from zero to 20 versus what? Five. From 0 to 20 versus a 5. So the frequency there is 5. But from 0 to 20. So as you can see, it was supposed to be a bar like this. From 0 to 20. That is what we need. 
So we need from 0 to 20 going straight to, to 5. Exactly at 5. So that is where we are going to be here. From 0 to 20. We move on from 20 to 40. Verses 9. From 20 to 40, verses 9. So 9 is just going to be at this point. Remember, uh, two boxes represent 1. So 9, just two boxes below 10. We join. Continu from 20, is it is, it's, a, it's a continuous at 20 where it was before. But we go to the uh, point where we've got what? A 9 there. All right? From 40 going up, then we join. It's a bar that we have. Same width as we are seeing on the diagram. The next class, from 40 to 60, which is versus 12. 40 to 60 and 12, this is 10. So two boxes, that's 11. Uh, two boxes, that's 12. Remember, two boxes there represent one according to the graph that I'm using. All right, so our 12 is somewhere there. So that's we're just going to join straight from 42 to 12 there. All right, so that's somewhere there. Uh, 60 to 12. All right, then you can join to complete the, the bar like that. 40 to 60. From 60 to 80 versus 15. 60 to 80 versus 15, we can see. 15 is already there. We can see it there. So we just join straight from 60 straight to 15. From 80 straight to 15. That's it. Then we can join these two. So we have got a bar that is uh, completed now. 60 to 80. 80 to 100 versus 8. From 80 to 100 versus 8. So this is 5. Uh, remember, this was 9 here. So we just need two boxes going down from 9. That's 1, 2, somewhere there. So we're just going to join. This is 8. So 9. Uh, this is 9. So this is 8, somewhere there. All right. So already we can just uh, have the 8 here and join it here so like this. So this is how we can have our uh, histogram. There are bars that are continuous. No gaps. No gaps. The height of the bar represents the frequency for that class interval. So if we check the first bar, its height, as we are going up, its height is what? Is 5. That is the frequency for that class. The second one, because they can give you it drawn, like you must analyze this when it is drawn. From 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, 80 to 100. And these are the frequencies, the height of the bars. Representing the frequency. This one is 15. This one going up to 8. Analyze your diagram. Know this. So these are the uh, typical questions that you might be given. Just make sure you do revise as many questions as you can. Where you do not understand, you can ask your questions uh, by joining the WhatsApp uh, groups that we can see on our screen. So make sure that you... We have uh, access to the internet, join the WhatsApp group, send your questions uh, so that we can make the revisions together as we are preparing uh, for the exams that are ahead of time. But for now, guys, that is it uh, till we meet again.